Well, what, you're not going to take a side? I think our founding fathers would agree with that quote. I certainly do. Hmm. India may be home to many cool and fascinating places, with a culture that has captivated millions while still being a mystery to many others. And today, we are going to pierce far into the culture to discover and understand what it's like to live within this country. And today, here on FTD Facts, we are going to do this by looking at the people at the magnificent city known as Hyderabad. So what Hyderabad. can I say, guys? He said Hyderabad. Right. Welcome he said back to FTD right. Facts. Is Hyderabad. Today, we got a pretty exciting video where we're talking about Hyderabad. Now, Last week, yeah, we talked about Hyderabad in Pakistan, but today, no, we're focusing on India. And for those of you who have been here before, you guys know that we take a lot of recommendations. So for those who haven't been here, but type them down there. Right. Let us know what you guys want to um, know I next because exactly we watch. listen to you. And, and with that I being said, we had a lot of you guys recommend to us to talk about Hyderabad in India. As a matter of fact, it's one of our most requested videos. Hundreds of you guys were like, dude, do it. So we did it. I can't even list off how many because there were so many many of you guys. It's just gone insane. Now before I get in this video, I want to know what is your favorite season of the year? Me, I've always liked fall as much as I like Christmas. I do like when the leaves change color. So I want to know your favorite season down there. Now Hyderabad is a city in India that stands as the capital of the state of Telangana. And it is a huge city. It spans over 650 kilometers square. It's nuts. It also has a metro area of 7,100 square kilometers and it is one of the most populated cities in all of India. As it has a population of 6,809,790 people as of 2011. Now with its square kilometers and its population, it has 10,477 people per square kilometer. Now currently its population sits at 39th in the world, but if you were to add all the people in the greater Hyderabad region, it has over 11 million people collected. But with all these people, where did they all come from? Where did Hyderabad start? Their moms. The city was first founded in 1591, but the the region had a history dating all the way back to 500 BCE, which was the Iron Ages. And the area was known as Golkanda or Shepherd's Hill, which was coined by the Chikula dynasty in 624. But one of the most amazing parts within the city is the Golkanda Fort, which is a treasure throughout the whole area. This fort was built in 1143 by the Kakatiya rulers. And although it is 11 kilometers away from the city, it is one amazing piece of architecture. As it looks over the city from its hill top position. Now the Golkanda region was famous back in the day for its diamond mining because of the Kalura mines. And as for the fort, it held the famous 45.2 carat Hope Diamond, which has been labeled one of the most famous diamonds in all of the world. But it also held the large 763 carat Kohinoor Diamond, which was found approximately in the 13th century. But now you can find the Kohinoor Diamond in the Tower of London because it's part of the Crown Jewel Collection. And because of the history of diamond mining, Hyderabad was known as the City of Pearls. But jumping back to the fort itself, it is listed as a Monument of India. And what I find fascinating about it is its ventilation system. And although it was built back in the 1100s, the design had people kept cool inside the structure. And we all know Hyderabad is a place that gets pretty hot. The Golkanda Fort is not the only place that has history. Hyderabad has a lot of it as well. But one of the most interesting and well-known times of its past was when it became the capital of the Nazim of the Hyderabad state, or the Hyderabad Deccan. This happened in 1769 where eventually Nazim Ali Khan, who was the ruler of Hyderabad, signed an alliance with the East India Trade Company. And that made Ali Khan the first Indian prince to ever sign an alliance with the British Empire. And this alliance lasted for a long time, until about 1947. After the Second World War, there was the Indian Partition, and the state of Hyderabad wanted to remain on its own, not wishing to become part of the Indian Union. However, on September 13th of 1948, the Indian country did not agree with this, because they mobilized an army in Operation Polo to seize the state. And unfortunately, Marco. there was a conflict, but it only lasted four days really as the Nazim ordered a ceasefire, making Mur Laik Ali the last Prime Minister of Hyderabad State. 
Because unfortunately for the Hyderabad State Army, they were greatly outnumbered by the Indian forces. And it wasn't until Hyderabad's Major General, Saeed Ahmed El Adrus, met with India's Major General, Joyanto Nath Chadhuri, where he surrendered in Secunderabad, ending the fight at 4 p.m. on September 18th, 1948. Now what I find really fascinating about this is although shortly after that the whole country became part of India, Hyderabad during those times was still capable of having its own currency. As a matter of fact, the Hyderabad rupee went from 1912 to 1956. And what's strange about these coins and bills is that the Indian state allowed Hyderabad to keep its form of currency even after joining the India Dominion in 1948. Now the Charminar, it is one of the most amazing treasures and amazing buildings in all of Hyderabad. It's well known and famous throughout the world. Being built in 1592, it is an amazing piece of architecture. Now the word char and charminar comes from the Urdu word meaning four pillars, in which it has four pillars, it's kind of obvious. But one thing that's strange about this building is that archaeologists aren't really sure why it was built in the first place. Some say it was created due to the founding of Hyderabad the year prior, while some believe it was due to the eradication of a plague that contaminated the regions years ago. And the story is that the founder of Hyderabad, Muhammad Qutb Shah, prayed for the eradication of the plague with a promise to build the mosque in the center of the city. Now speaking about structures, unlike the White House in America, believe it or not, India kind of has two White Houses. There are actually more homes to the president, but Hyderabad is also home to one of these retreats, known as the Rastrapathi Niliyam. Now the main home is obviously in Delhi, but the president will come here during the winter months because it's too cold. It is also known as the Residency House, which was built in 1860 by Nazim Nazir Uddaullah. And it is located in the district of Secunderabad. And if you want to visit it, it's open for free from January 1st to January 10th each year. Now, of course, when we talk about India, we cannot forget about Tollywood or Bollywood or any of the Indian films altogether. But Ramoji Film City is located in Hyderabad and is a 1,663 acre integrated film city, which means besides it being just a theme park, just like Universal Studios in Los Angeles, Angeles. It is also a filming complex which holds the Guinness record for being the largest filming complex in the entire world. However, with the progress of the city, there is also progress in conservation. Around the city, it has protected forest zones that are considered conservation sites. The city also is home to three national parks, the Murugani National Park, the Mahavir Harani Vanasthali National Park, and the Kasti Brahmamanda Reddy National Park. But it is also home to one of the largest zoos in all of India, called the Nehru Zoological Park, which is the first zoo in India to have a lion and tiger safari park. So why is Hyderabad so big? Well, there's a lot of big things within the city, and one of the biggest is its IMAX. It's huge. No what? Note the press that IMAX theater, it was built in 2002. It has a 72 feet high by 92 feet wide screen, and it is the most popular screen in all of India. It is definitely a place to go see the Avengers or or Star Wars or whatever you feel like seeing. It That's the place to go. As a matter of fact, it has a Guinness record for being the biggest IMAX in the entire world, but also the most attendees for the movie Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, and Harry Potter the Goblet of Fire. Wow. Being the center of India also means it's got to be the center when it comes to IT. Hyderabad has also been called High Tech City, as it has offices for Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, you name it, they got it. And in 2014, they exported seven billion dollars of IT goods. That's a lot. And considering we're talking about IT, we cannot forget about the CEO of Adobe, considering we edit all of our videos on Adobe Premiere. This man's name is Shantanu Narayan, and he may have been born in Mumbai, but he grew up in Hyderabad, even going to Osmania University in the city. Now, in attending this university, he earned a Bachelor of Science in Electronic Engineering, until he went to other universities in the United States for his master's and his doctorate, and eventually created the program called Adobe. However, wow, we have just skimmed the cool. surface of Hyderabad, a great city that has accomplished much. And we want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know, here on FTD Facts, we 
try to, you know, educate people about different cultures, people and cities and, and institutions from around the world. So if it's your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, check out our other videos, you might learn a lot. And also guys, check out our Patreon because we also are going to have some exclusive material for those who like to support us directly. Other than that, if you want to help us out in another way, you can check out Grammarly.com, who is one of our sponsors, backslash FTD Facts. These guys really help you improve on your English with a really cool handy tool that boosts your grammar and spelling, and hey, it's free. So head on over there, we'll have the link down there in the description box below. And of course, we got to thank all you viewers out there who suggested us to talk about Hyderabad in India. As we know, we talked about Hyderabad in Pakistan last week, and you know, it's great yeah. that you guys are giving us these ideas uh, so because, you, you know, of I get an opportunity to learn, you guys get an opportunity to learn, we get to grow as a community and find out, hey, we're not such ignorant people after all. But this has been us talking about Hyderabad in India, a city all hail Hyderabad, large and proud, that is almost directly center of the country, acting as an artery or a pump that keeps the country going. A city of great culture and opportunity and unique history that is world famous. It is truly the city of pearls, but inside its shell is a pearl of hope and future. Where they were kind of showing like the little circular driveway area in the middle of the city. I think that was neat looking. Um, and I think it's really cool that the founder of Adobe is from there. That's yeah, really I, cool. I agree. Hey guys, once again, thanks for watching. Now, before getting out of here, you might want to check out one of our other videos, such as this one about Myanmar, which is a really fascinating country to learn about. Other than that, if you guys want to support us on our Patreon or Grammarly, feel free to do so. But if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I like seeing the city, I like seeing the people, and so when they show a city, I try to look around, like in the shot, to see what it is. You know, I noticed McDonald's, I noticed like. And the thought that I had in my head is, what are you serving at McDonald's? Like, you can't just serve up a burger there. You know what I mean? Well, like, you what are the Muslims aware that and... McDonald's serves other things other than well, burgers, right? Really? I mean, of course I mean, we got McDonald's right over down the right, road. Of course just, I know that, but that's but the big piece. what are they serving What are they there? serving? Do you think they're, like, do you think it's just like an all, like, instead of, like, a Big Mac, it's like a Big McChicken? Well, I suppose it's possible that they sell salads there too, like they do at our okay. McDonald's. I mean, come on. But what do you, so it's I mean, you can, you can get the chicken McNuggets because that's chicken. Maybe you can also get egg Filet McMuffins fish. without the um, bacon, the ham. Well, well I, I think Hindus, well, I, Hindus eat pork, so I'm sure you can then get like pork. Muslims do not. I know, but so you're going to have to have quite a, I would be interested to go in there and see the menu. Right. I would want to see the menu. I would want to see a Happy Meal and see what kind of toys these kids are getting. Because you know what's yes. going to be different. It's going to be a different toy. It's of going to be a different culture. Different culture. So right. I liked that part. I liked uh, the IMAX. I thought the IMAX was pretty cool. I figured you would like that. I, I think when we go to India, I think one of the things that's going to be overwhelming is the amount of people. I agree. I mean, he's <laughs> that state has more people. Like when they said... That city has more people than the entire state of Arizona. That is a lot. Yes, that is a lot. And you see them, they're just all crammed in like in, like, I'm surprised there's not more crime. You know, you get all these people just right there. Well, maybe people try to be good neighbors to one another, and yeah, that's why there's a different not culture. So yeah. The Indians are, are nice people, it is a different I found. Culture. Nice people. Uh, so I feel better after that last video about yes. the Pakistan uh, FTD bouquet. Right. Um, it's not bouquet. Um, it's not FTD the flower people. I, I feel much better. It's something different. Th this was better. So I liked I liked the downtown shot. I liked the IMAX. I liked yes. seeing the McDonald's. I liked um, I liked the White House residence thing yes, that he had that there. Yes, that was neat. Um, I would like to see more inside of it. You know, I'd like to see mm -hmm. like what what is it, what you know maybe what, for security purposes you're not allowed. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, you know the the that I didn't realize that was a mosque that was downtown. Uh, you know, kind of in the center of the, the city. The architecture looks very much like... Well, um, it looked Persian, and I don't necessarily always take Persian to be Muslim. Mm. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, because I know that city had a big Persian influence. Right. And I've seen other videos. Of, now, Hyderabad is somewhere like, in my blog talk days, they a were like... A lot of them listening. Yes, a lot of... A lot of people from Hyderabad yes, are listening. Yes, yes. And um, I think Sanche. What was his name? Sanche, yes. What was Sanche's last name? Sarkar. Sanche Sarkar. I think he was from Hyderabad. I don't remember. I and don't remember. and he was he was Christian. Yes, he was. And um, he used to send me some of his sermons, but they were in 
I don't think necessarily it was Hindi. I don't know if it was No, Hindi he wasn't speaking language. Hindi, but I don't remember what language it was. But he was a really cool dude, and yes. I remembered he was having an arranged marriage, mm-hmm. and he was really stressed out about it yes. because he didn't know the person. I remember. And he was like, you know, and that was like, you know, we, we don't have that here in America. Right, right. Uh, arrange marriages. Maybe we right. should. I'd like to do it for my son. I'd like to arrange there, marriages. Yes, there had been times. I wouldn't want it, but I would want right, it for my kids. Where we thought this particular girl would be perfect for him. Um, but it turns out we didn't even have to be no. the matchmakers because God brought a lovely, intelligent young yes. woman into his yes. life. And we couldn't have picked somebody yes. better. Yes, so, that's true. Looking forward to the day they get married. And we have grandbabies. Yes. So... Yeah. Uh, we're moving on to the next video. Yeah. You're going to wrap it up. Right. On, well, I'm asking you first before I just assume. I think we're going to stop and get something to eat because I'm oh. getting really hungry. Okay. Please subscribe to our channel.